A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord To present him to the Lord the Israelites believed that their firstborn sons belonged to the Lord who spared their lives even as he slew the firstborn of the Egyptians. God instructed Moses, Consecrate to me every firstborn that opens the womb among the Israelites. The Jews carry out the divine mandate through a rite called presentation, at which the firstborn is redeemed or brought back through an offering. Having obeyed the decree of Caesar Augustus at the time of Jesus' birth, Joseph and Mary now observe the prescriptions of religious law concerning the presentation of their firstborn. Jesus does not have to be redeemed, because as the Son, He belongs to the Father in a way that no other creature can. But Jesus' parents are shown to be obedient to the demands of the religious custom.